we now look into different conditions so we will look into uh, these two points like which are the criteria which says to include or exclude the joint checks for different joints and also there are some additional criteria for joint shear check in specific that are being added in ACI 2019 and then we will also look into different functionalities of RCDC and how the joint checks are being handled in RCDC. So the first point is how, are, how is the flexure joint check performed in RCDC for IS 13920-2016. So as per clause number 7.2.1.3, the code says that the flexure joint check should be performed at all the joints of a column except the roof joint only when the structure is greater than four story. So in case one, if we see there are four levels uh, starting from 4.2 up to 16.258 and the joint check at each joint J1, J2, J3, J4 will be performed. But when we come to look into second case wherein there are six levels which is from 4.2 to 23.5 meter and we have six joints. So out of these the flexure check will be performed for joints J1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and the flexure check will be ignored for joint J6. ACI code, specific, specifically the 2019 code, has two criteria for performing the joint flexure check. The criteria number one is, if the joint has no column above it, that is if the column is discontinuous above the joint, then the joint flexure check has to be avoided. And the second is based upon the actual stress in the column. When there is no column above a considered joint, the message that is shown is column is discontinuous and the flexural joint check is ignored. And for the second criteria, maximum actual stress from a critical load combination is calculated and compared with the permissible range as mentioned in the code. So these are the two criteria of ACI 2019 that are, be, that are being covered in RCDC. The next point that we will look into is the joint confinement as per ACI 2019, which is specifically for the joint shear check. So the code has mentioned three criteria as per clause 15.2.6. 15.2.7 and 15.2.8. So I have just jotted down the three criteria in a single line. So based on which all criteria are satisfied out of the three criteria, the shear strength value has to be decided. So when we have three cases, one is the beam on all sides, beam length and check for joint based on the column continuity above. So if all if in this case we have two confinement as true and one as false so we have the shear strength factor as 1.2 so if we go back to the slide the factor comes in from here so when one is confined when two are confined and one is not confined we have the factor 1.2 so in this way the factors from these two tables are been used the next point is how are the joint checks handled when we use different functionalities like column grouping, level grouping, level merging or a combination of about three functionalities. So let us actually look into how it happens. So this is my model in RCDC and if we check the level data like the column presence at different levels. So what we do here is we check how the column grouping works for such cases like the joint checks, how the joint checks are being handled when we group a column. Okay, so once my design is done and let us check what happens when we group different columns. So let's say we are grouping column number C14, 15 and 16. Like if we check 
it has same sizes and it is ranging at the same number of levels so when i can do column grouping from here itself so i just click on group columns so once the grouping is done it is handled in a way that the join checks happen independently for each column at each level so when i select c14 15 and 16 the join check for each column c14 the joint flexure and shear check c14 at the next level so the joint check for c14 will be presented first then the joint check for c15 will start and which will be again followed by the joint check for c16 so even when we group the column the joint check happens independently for each column at each level so let us go ahead and see what happens when the levels are grouped like i mentioned the handling of joint check is same when e either when we group the columns or when we group the levels so let us try grouping level number 4.2 and 7.858 which has the same geometry for all columns so under the modify option i use the option to group or ungroup levels select the two levels and say group them so as soon as i group them the group number for both the level becomes the same and we can see that a same design has been presented for 0 to 7.858. So now when we come to look for how the column grouping plus the level grouping happens. So what happens internally within the program is still the join check is being performed at each level and for each column independently. And similarly, it will also be presented. So for C14 at 4.2. C14 at 7.85. Even though we see the design data from 0 to 7.858, but as a level is present in between these two levels, the joint check data for that level is present independently or individually. So that is how the column grouping and level grouping works. Now coming to the last option wherein we will merge the levels. So let us go ahead and merge the level 10 and 14, which are my secondary levels. Going to modify, merge, demerge, I will just unselect the secondary level and click on OK. OK, so once the levels are merged, we then have six numbers of levels. Now we click on auto design again to check how the joint check happens. So once the auto design is complete, we will go to check the joint check reports for any column, say C1 or to be more precise, let us check the joint check for these two columns like the C22 and C23 column. So when I go to reports and joint check for C22, we have level 4.2 then we have 7.858 now this is a level which has been merged 10.058 is a level which is a secondary level and it has been merged with the next primary level which is 12.058 but as this column is been having a beam at this level 10.058 the joint check has been performed so there is a single beam at zero degree along column ly and hence both the moment uh, sorry the flexion strength of joint and the joint shear check has been performed so in this way uh, the joint checks are being handled for different functionalities in rcdc so we just saw this column grouping level grouping level merging and a combination of different of these three functionalities Next, we move ahead to check what happens when there when a joint has a released beam. So I am just taking this example of a particular column. Say the num name is C1 and it has different levels like 4.2, 8.4, 12, 16 and 21. And it has different beam conditions like uh, at 4.2, both B1 and B2 are not released and they are connected to a particular joint. 
at 8.4 we have both the beams connecting to this particular column at a joint are being released so both the ends connecting to this joint are released so when we check the design calculation report of this joint at 4.2 meter as none of the beam is released we consider both the beams for performing the joint check now coming to next joint which is 8.4 meter now at 8.4 meter both the beams which are getting connected to this joint are been released so both these beams are ignored then the joint check has been has been performed coming to joint at 12.6 where only one beam is released so what happens in that case the particular beam which is released the capacity of that beam will be considered as zero and the capacity of the beam which has which does not have its released end with the joint the complete capacity of that beam is been calculated and is considered for performing the joint check now this joint at 16.8 meter has the same situation but another beam which is at 0 degree is released and at 21 meter joint uh, the joint check is not been performed for flexure joint check now the last thing that we would look into is when we have a cantilever beam which is framing into a column joint and at the same time there are other beams let's say a primary beam and at the same time there are other primary beams which are framing into the particular joint then the cantilever beam which is framing into the joint is been completely ignored so in this case we have beam b1 at 20.458 meter which is a cantilever beam so if we check in the report the beam which is at 0 degree of the column ly has been ignored and other beams which are p2 b3 and b4 which are at 90 180 and 270 degree are been considered while performing the joint checks